Let's talk about the Metallica song Enter Sandman, Jason Newstead's Spectre bass, and how this song changed everything for the band. Okay, first, some quick Metallica history. 1983, Metallica releases the album Kill 'Em All. It peaks at number 155 on the Billboard album charts. 1984, the album Ride the Lightning is released and reaches number 100 on Billboard. 1986, Master of Puppets is released and reaches number 29 on Billboard. It was the band's first album to be certified gold and is now certified six times platinum. 1988, Metallica releases the album And Justice For All with their new bassist Jason Newstead after the tragic death of Cliff Burton. This album reaches number six on Billboard, being certified as platinum shortly thereafter. However, there were complaints about the production, from clicky drums to thin-sounding guitars. Even bassist Jason Newstead wasn't very happy with it. The Justice album was kind of a thing that um, didn't feel very good for me, because you really couldn't hear the bass. And there's many reasons for that, and I was as responsible for it not being there as anyone else was, um, and not being there properly. And then in October 1990, Metallica started work on their next album, the self-titled work more commonly referred to as The Black Album. They had hired producer Bob Rock, who had already worked with plenty of artists like David Lee Roth and Motley Crue, and would go on to work with Bon Jovi and Joan Jett. Also, I mean, if you're looking for someone to produce your rock album, a guy named Bob Rock is probably who you want. Bob Rock was adamant that Metallica albums didn't adequately capture the sound of Metallica live. Part of what was missing was the bass. With the other records, they were absolutely beautiful for what they were, but it was more of a wall of a sound, very guitar oriented, very little bass frequency other than coming from the low end of the guitars. When Bob Rock came into the picture, Bass frequencies also came into the picture. So you've got bassist Jason Newstead, who wants more bass on this record, producer Bob Rock, who also wants more bass on this record, but which bass do you go with? Jason Newstead used a few different basses on this album, but when it came to the smash hit song Enter Sandman, his Spectre bass was the clear choice. We went through a bunch of different basses in all different configurations of amplifiers, and Bob just helped me along the way in saying, you know, what is the bass sound that we're out to achieve here? What's going to work with the guitars? What's going to work with the, the bass drums and not kill them? While tracking in the control room, Jason's picking was so intense they had to put a wall of foam around him so they could hear the bass through the speakers. His picking in the room was just too loud. Now, let's take a listen. This is what it sounds like when a monster player uses a monster bass. I mean, what more do you want? Enter Sandman was released on July 29th, 1991 and peaked at number 16 on the Billboard singles charts, giving a nice boost to the full album, which was released two weeks later, becoming the band's first number one album in the US, as well as nine other countries. Metallica's Black Album is now certified 16 times platinum. Enter Sandman has been named one of the greatest songs of all time by Rolling Stone, VH1, and Blender. They played it at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction in 2009, and it's one of the most well-recognized rock songs ever. That's the power of a good bass line. <laughs>